Hi, this is ET370, Lecture 14, Part B, and here we're going to talk about abs absolute encoders and uh, gray code. And gray code is actually paired with uh, absolute encoders and uh, pairs nicely, and you'll see why. Okay, so we just finished talking about incremental encoders, and the whole idea was that you had uh, an LED, okay, and you, we had a strip, right, and you had windows in the strip. Okay, and then you had over here a photo detector. Okay, and so you can imagine as light passes through, you're going to see a zero or one, depending on if the light is blocked or if the light can go through. All right. Now, an absolute encoder is going to use multiple strips and multiple photo detectors so that you can get the absolute position because you'll get a unique set of binary numbers, ones and zeros, and that'll tell you where you are. Okay, so let's look at a four strip example. So we'll just say one is opaque and zero is clear. And so imagine we, we just created a binary sequence of, um, you know, opaque and clear. So every, this is like a window and this is like a, a, a opaque part right here, right? And so zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, zero, so on and so forth. So you just have your four bit binary sequence. So you have 16 total numbers, two to the four, okay? And so let's say we put a set of uh, LEDs and photo detectors, right? So you have LEDs in the front and photo detectors in the back, all right? And we wanna just detect uh, where we are. And so you can see it, if we are at every row, at any row, you have a unique set, so you get your absolute position, okay? But there's an issue actually with a binary sequence. And the issue with that is manufacturing tolerances, right? And so let's look at a situation where the strip moves up. Okay, so this thing, so let's say we're reading 0101, right? Okay, so if we're reading 0101 and we move this strip up, we would expect to see 0110. That's what we're hoping to see. Okay, now notice the one above is 0100. Now let's say the manufacturing tolerances were such that this photo detector was reading just a little early on the fourth column right here, right? And so what would happen? I would very briefly read 0100, and then I would read 0110. I wonder if you guys can see where that would be a problem. Because if I very briefly read 0, one zero, uh, zero one zero zero before I read the expected value, you can imagine that the computer will think that we actually went backwards for a brief moment and then went forwards. That is bad. I have that written out here, right? Zero one one zeros are expected, right? If you briefly see zero one zero zero, that's thinking it went backwards. And so this is bad. So a binary sequence is not a good sequence for an absolute encoder. But I think you guys have the idea of what an absolute encoder does. You have multiple strips, every strip, uh, every uh, row here is a unique position, which is great. So you can know where you are, but maybe we can use a different type of sequence other than binary, and that is gonna be gray code. So what is gray code? And why is it gonna benefit us in this kind of situation here where you can see uh, we get a false answer? Okay, so this is a sequence that solves that problem and each neighbor, so each neighbor here only differs by one bit. That's actually gonna be nice. Notice here, we, uh, we differed in this case by two bits, right? Okay, so how do we build a gray code sequence? Well, uh, the rule is to add more columns, right? More columns, you're gonna flip or mirror and add one, zeros and ones to the left, okay? So that doesn't really make sense until we just do an example, okay? So let's say we have one column, one bit, right? Kind of like this. Well, it's kind of like binary, yay. Okay, so then how do we add the next column. So we're going to flip, just said we said here, flip. So 0110, right? Notice how it's not quite the same as 0101. So this would be 0110. And then we're going to add zeros and ones, right? So we're going to add zeros and ones similar to binary. But notice you can already see the difference between a binary sequence and a gray code, right? Gray code has 00011110, whereas a binary has 00011011. Notice it's not quite the same. Okay. All right. And also notice that we only get one bit change in between. All right. Let's do it for a four uh, row sequence. So 
let me move that to the side and uh, let's do this. Okay, so we have zero, one. So I wanna flip and add zeros and ones, good. And then I can flip again, right? One, zero, one, zero, good. One, 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 good. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, 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 good. And I can add zeros and ones, okay? And I can do the same thing. I can flip again, right? So notice that this is flipped, right? We got it all mirrored and I add zeros and ones. So if we compare this binary sequence to this one, right? Okay, so we would have six, I mean, if this kept going, we'd have 16 numbers. Notice you have zero, 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 right? Zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, yay. But notice it starts diverging, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero. So you can see the difference between a binary sequence and gray code. And like the promise of what gray code says is, it only flips one bit at a time. So notice as I go from here to here, only this second column changed. If I go from here to here, only this, this one here changed. What about uh, here to here, the, the third one changed, right? Or even here to here, the fourth one changed, okay? So you can see only one bit flips at a time. So let's go back to that same example where let's say we had a photo detector, right? And we're on 0101 or 0101 here. And let's say the same thing, we're moving up. Okay, and in this case, we're moving up. And notice the next one we expect to see is 0, 0100. 0, 0. Okay, now even if, even if this reads a little bit early, if this fourth column reads are, are a little bit early, what would you see briefly? You'd see 0, 0100. 0, 0. Well, that's fine. That just means you thought you got to this point a little bit early, just a hair early, no problem. Okay, what if. Um, what if we had this one read early, right? The third one, what do we get? Zero, one, zero, one. Well, that's fine too, because it, there's no thinking that's gonna go backwards. It just didn't transition. It just thought you were in the same position, right? Okay, so by only changing one bit at a time between sequential rows here, you are a more robust to manufacturing issues, right? If there's just a little bit of imperfection here in your photodiodes and photo detectors. So gray code is a much more reliable, reliable sequence for absolute encoders, okay? Now, how would you convert this into, for example, a, um, a circular uh, encoder disk, right? So let's look at three bits, right? And so again, three bits is just going to be this version. We just, we already wrote it. So let's just double check that this is the same zero, zero, zero. Yep. Zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. Yep. And you can see the pattern is true. Zero, one, one, zero, add zeros and ones. Flip one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, zeros and ones. Now, if I want to turn this into um, an encoder disk, notice I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Look at this, here's my encoder disk. So these are my columns, one, two, three. I've just turned this into a radial disk and look at column one here, right? All zeros, all ones, all zeros, all ones. Two is zero, zero, and then four ones, good. And then zero, zero, and then column three has zero, then one, one, then zero, zero, then one, one, zero, okay? And so you can imagine in this case, I have three photo detectors and LEDs, Right, and I could rotate this dial and I could see that I would get an absolute reading because at any uh, of these segments, I would know where I'm at. Now, what's, what's one big issue with this absolute encoder? Am I getting the same resolution as an incremental? No, because I'm here, I'm getting only uh, one eighth of eight, eight counts per cycle, nowhere near the 2,500 that I expected before. So you're getting a lower resolution here, but you're getting an absolute reading, okay? All right, well, I hope this very short and simple lecture uh, helped you understand gray code and, and how an absolute encoder worked. Okay, I hope to see you in the next lecture after this. Have a great day.